Hi everyone, in this video we are talking about the Energy UI sample under the hood part two. So this is the second under the hood video. And really we weren't intending to shoot a second under the hood video, but what ended up happening is that for simplicity of training, we've created two energy sample files. One is basically for FileMaker Pro and Go and a deployment with those clients. The other file works pretty well with FileMaker Pro and WebDirect. So the WebDirect sample is a different file than it is with the Pro and Go sample. The techniques can be combined together, but it made the educational process a little more difficult. Frankly, it was much easier to create two sample files to demonstrate the two techniques. The techniques are slightly different. If you have a very basic UI interface, of course, it would be easy to put them all in, in one file. But Nick is showing us some pretty advanced techniques, uh, some really neat user interface, user experience uh, design. So pretty cool stuff. So I'm going to hand this off to Nick, and he can explain in more detail the difference between these two files and the design differences between the two. Let me demonstrate why we have two different files for uh, WebDirect and, and uh, another one for FileMaker Pro client and uh, iPhone. Uh, because there's slight differences between both files and the technique used here is not quite the same. So we didn't want to make the files too complicated, uh, showing two different ways to do the same thing. Obviously, you can share the same file with both techniques. But uh, for the demonstration, we didn't want to make the file too complicated. Uh, then uh, the most beginners that wanted to learn and want to enjoy and create things that is exciting, we didn't want to let them on the side. And so for the most advanced users uh, using this, you will have no problem to, you know, use the technique. And in the same time, the beginners won't be, you know, drawn into a too complicated things. So it's not that it's complicated. It's the mix of both may be uh, seen as complicated for beginners. So that's why we decided to put two files. So what the difference between the, the, the files is it's very obvious. First, the one for WebDirect is optimized for the for the rendering on WebDirect. So the text is sometimes kind of uh, appear truncated in layout mode, but is not truncated in uh, browse mode in the browser. And we have different kind of treatment about the click through. You know, when you, we have a button or we have a field underneath another object, for example, uh, the farmaker is not clicking through the object, so you cannot reach the object underneath. So we have to deal with this. We refresh more often the portals and objects and stuff like that because WebDirect needs more of those commands. We didn't want to put that under Farmaker Pro clients. Let me show you, for example, the biggest difference. The big difference is we have this polars here. And uh, so you can click on the polar. You see, when you click here, you select and you select the, the record, right? So this works pretty well. You see, I'm, I'm, I, I am down here. You see, I am uh, down the, the portal. And when I click, I click here, I select. It shows the, the record, but it doesn't move, right? It stays the the polar even if I'm down, it stays. So to do that, we use a different technique than the the one on Pro. Here we are on Pro, so I'm doing the same thing. You know, when I'm going down here, I click here. But the technique used to do that here and the technique to do that here is not the same. If I'm using uh, WebDirect with this technique we use here, what happen is when you click here, we click a record, instantly the, the, what's the, name, the portal get reset and go back to the top. Okay, So to avoid this, there's two different techniques on Pro and another different technique on, on WebDirect. So explore the file and you see how we deal with this. Okay, So here, here the, on, the, on Pro, we are here in the same table. You can see here if I'm clicking here, I'm the record number one. Here, number two, number three, number four, you see, here. And I can even, you see, if I'm doing this, using this, I'm showing, the because I'm in the same table, and this portal points to the same table to itself, right? This is the biggest difference between the two files. There's two techniques, completely different, to show the problem here. The other issue we had 
uh, because of WebDirect is a click through. So Prime is here, you can see I have a button here and I have fields on top. If I am using this on WebDirect, I wouldn't be able to click on the button because there's object on top. On Pro, we don't care, you know, Pharmaco clicks through. But on WebDirect, Pharmaco won't click through. So to avoid the problem, we have a, we have a different technique. So normally, Pharmaco, we say, okay, oh, you need the button to be on top, you know, instead to be on the bottom. Yeah, okay, that's cool. So let's put on front. But I have a conditional formatting on the button itself, you know, to show, you know, the dark gray when you select a record, right? So if I'm putting on top, I have this, you know. It's not cool. It's not great, right? So how can I do that, you know, in order to get what I want, to have the button in the back, to get back my conditional formatting, and at the same time to overcome the problem of the click through on web drive. So what I'm doing here is simple. Let's remove the button here. You know, I'm doing, I'm, I'm keeping the button, then I say, okay, do nothing. There's no script on the button. And then instead, you select the portal, the portal itself, you know, select the portal, you go to uh, Format Script Triggers, and then you say, okay, on object enters, that means when you enter a row in the portal, that, show the script select maintenance. So when, you know, use the script select maintenance. So when you do that here, now you have exactly the same result, but you don't have the prime of the click-through. So this is a technique used here on WebDirect, right? So those are the major difference. That's all the thing we, we had to deal more with Redirect, that you have to refresh more often things, object and portals. That's why on FileMaker, the refresh portal script step got introduced in 14. It was for WebDirect instead of refreshing the window. So you need to refresh more often. You need to take care of more things. So we decided to put an extra file uh, on the site.